So in the last lecture, we identified the layout of the application and that component tree here. That's of course a super important step. Now, this is only one part. We also need to know which state we're going to use in our application. This state becomes important because it also allows us to identify what should be a component and what should be a container. So what should be a stateless component and what should be a stateful component. Now let's think about our application state then. I'll summarize the state for the application as we plan it here. Now in the state, we definitely need to manage the ingredients of the burger. So the ingredients, the user added. Ingredients will probably be some JavaScript object where we have something like meat, one times, cheese, two times, and so on. So this could be the ingredients. We also want to know whether the user is currently checking out the burger. So if he clicked on purchase or not. So something like purchased. And that could be true or of course false. That actually should be almost all. The only other thing probably is a total price which we need so that we can always see what the price is and we can dynamically calculate that and of course also output it. Now that is our state. Super simple, not too difficult, right? But it allows us to create a dynamic burger and output all relevant information to the user already. Now, where do we manage that state? You could say we should manage the state in the app component here at the top, but I don't agree with that. We won't do it here. Instead, we should do it in the burger builder here. Why? Because the state I listed here on the right is really just related to building a burger. If we later add a new checkout page or something like that, then we will basically have a page where we want to see all orders of the user and we're not interested of the ingredients of the burger the user currently builds. So managing this state on the app level isn't correct in my opinion because it doesn't affect the whole app. It only affects this burger builder page. And for now this is going to be our whole app basically, but it's not how our application is going to stay once we added a checkout page and so on. So the burger builder should be a stateful component. It should be a container basically. So stateful. That's what the burger builder should be. All other components can be components, can be dump components, stateless components. Now the app component by default in a new project is a stateful one created with the class keyword. We can of course always leave it to be one, but we can also turn it into a dump component if we wanted to. Now if we're thinking about pure components or should component update, we'll build this or we'll implement this as we build the application and see if we can identify some places where we need to optimize our update cycle. But due to the simplicity of our state and the structure of our application here, it might also be the case that we never need to implement pure component because we know that if the state or some props changes, it did really change. That we don't have a button which might just set the state to something it was already at. So that might very well be the case. We'll have a look at this and take care about correctly implementing this and possibly turning something into a pure component if needed. So with that, I'd say let's create a project and let's get started with that.